What's up guys? It is Jordan. Welcome back to a It's been a long time. <laughs> I apologize for how much of a mess I look, but I'm living my best messy life. You guys see my nose ring? You guys see my new nose ring? I'm gonna explain all of this in a video. I don't know if I like it, but anyway. I am so excited for you guys to watch this video. So I had the grand opportunity to work on a series called Turn Up the Love with the one and only Dan Reynolds, which is the Imagine Dragons lead singer. What the freaking <laughs> And we made all of it about, you know, supporting allyship and, um, you know, talking about LGBTQ. There's so many letters. <laughs> no, because now it's LGBTQIA. LGBTQ. I'm just gonna say LGBTQ+. Essentially, I got to just sit down with Dan Reynolds and, and tell him my coming out story. And you know, just by doing that alone and sitting down and having a conversation with him, he learned so much about me and my past and I learned so much about him and that's all it is. Sit down with your straight allies and even if they aren't an ally yet, get them on track and get them educated and it all starts with a civil conversation. So yeah, without further ado, here is my episode of Turn Up the Love with Dan Reynolds. Enjoy! I, like, I had crushes on girls in high school, but I always knew it was, I don't know, something deep down was like, I don't know, something's off. I came out when I was 19, so that was my first year here. How old are you now? 22. You got the world all ahead the of you. World. The bright lights of LA, yes. the city, the siren of like police going by right Love now. Love that, there's literally a fire truck outside. Yeah. It is so hard, like, really admitting to not only yourself, but to the people you love the most, like, who you really are. Um, which it shouldn't be. Which it shouldn't be. Yeah, we have all these labels, and we should celebrate our differences, but at the end of the day, we're all human, yeah. and we all have the same needs and desires. So why does my coming out story have to be such a big deal when it's like we can all just celebrate who we are as one instead of making mine, like, Oh my God, this is me, I'm so different. There was still so much more explanation people needed after it. And I was like, why? I was right. like, there it is. <laughs> I'm Jordan. Yeah, I'm human. So now that you have been through this process mm -hmm. and you're on the other side of it, what advice do you have for other kids who are maybe have not come out yet? My parents are so loving, my parents are so supportive and I'm very lucky to have that. Mm -hmm. Not everyone comes from a family like that and that's what's so sad. Not everyone comes from a community like that, or even their, you know, hometown or city or their religion, whatever right. it be. If you're alone in this process, that is 100% scarier and that can elongate the process, but I like to say, find your support system, find that core group that will love you for who you are. And, you know, once you have that and you have a plan, you're golden. If I, growing up, had that friend that was out. If I had somebody that I could have related to in high school, I think I would have came out way earlier. Every kid deserves that. Yeah. And they deserve to celebrate those feelings that they have mm -hmm. that are their feelings. I like want that for, you know, LGBT youth. Well, you're doing that by being here today. You by doing this, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> 